kindly be seated praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord now i just want to tell you an inspiration this is about the power of praise and worship the pioneer of our divine retreat center ministries is called father matthew naike marambel and this father matthew he got first message from the holy spirit and he put this message like this praise the lord in your sufferings iyo message yabonye no kuvuga ngo singizanya gasani mu bubabare bwawe holy spirit told father matthew to teach people to praise god in their sufferings roho mutagatifu yabwiye padiri matayo ngo yigisha abantu be bige gusingiza imana mu bubabare bwabo and this is job chapter 1 21 and 22 This is what if we keenly look into the Bible we understand this is what God trained his people. Tubisanga mu gitabo cya Yobu umutwe wa mbere Job said this is what God trained his people. Ibyo nibyo Yobu yahuye nabyo nibyo Imana yashakaga uko abantu bamenya. Job said God has given God has taken away let God's name be glorified. Nibyo yobo yavugaga ngo Imana yarampaye Imana yarishubije ni habwe kuzo Let's repeat this word of God Subiramo musenge cyane 21 and 22 Job 1 21 22 Iyo bo umutwe wa mbere umurongo wa 2022 Aramya agira ati Murasubiramo cyane Aramya agira ati Navuye mu nda ya mama namba yubusa Navuye mu nda ya mama namba yubusa kandi nzasubirayo namba yubundi kandi nzasubirayo namba yubundi uhoraho niwe wampaye uhoraho niwe wampaye uhoraho niwe wishubije uhoraho niwe wishubije ni hasingizwe izina ry'uhoraho ni hasingizwe izina ry'uhoraho uhoraho niwe wampaye uhoraho niwe wampaye uhoraho niwe wishubije Uhoraho niwe wishubije ni hasingizwe izina ry'uhoraho ni hasingizwe izina ry'uhoraho So Job is telling is God who gave me everything Yo baravuga ati ni Imana yampaye byose and the Lord has the freedom to take it away Imana ari kafite ubushobozi n'ubwigenge bwo kugisubiza and he praised God hanyuma akayiramya and we know God restored everything back to Job kandi birazwi ko imana yashubije byose yobu we all have various types of sufferings dufite ubabare butandukanye failures kubutsindwa mu bintu byinshi problems ibibazo binyuranye difficulties ingorane zitandukanye misunderstandings kutumbwa nabandi what we need to do icyo ukeneye rero ni iki we have to praise god ugomba kuramya imana then devil is ashamed and defeated hanyuma shitani akamwara agatsindwa because nothing can happen without god's knowledge kubera ko nta kintu na kimwe cyashoka imana itagize impuwe nothing can happen without god's knowledge nta kintu na kimwe cyakoreka atari imana yonyine and we have to know about the power of god tugomba rero kumenya imbaraga z'imana spiritual fathers say our god has a special power aba abadukuriye bavuga ko imana ifite imbaraga zitandukanye it is like a super power ni imbaraga nyinshi cyane it's like a very unique power ni imbaraga zihari ubwazo nobody else has this power na muno musho akumva ubwizo imbaraga this special power that is exclusively with god is called bring good out of evil izo imbaraga ro zihariye zihariye ku mana nizo zivuga ngo mu bibi hava mwibyiza to bring good out of evil mu bibi hazamo ibyiza romans chapter 8 verse 28 we read abanya roma umutwe wa 8 umurongo wa 28 we know that those who love god those who are called according to his purpose god turns all things for their good abanya roma umutwe wa 8 umurongo wa 28 dusoma subira mu musenge cyane tuzi kandi ko tuzi kandi ko Yose bihira abakunda imana 
Aliboyi hamagari ye kugende bwayo Aliboyi hamagari ye kugende bwayo We know that those who love God those who are called according to his purpose he tends all things for their good Tuzi kandi ko byose Tuzi kandi ko byose Bihira bakundi imana Bihira bakundi imana Aliboyi hamagari ye kugende bwayo Aliboyi hamagari ye kugende bwayo Do you love God? Mukundi mana. All those who love God lift your hands. Abakundi mana mwese umanika kaboko. Have you heard this promise? Iryo sezerano mwaryumvise. What is this promise? Iryo sezerano nirishye. Those who love God, God tends everything for their good, all things for their good. Abakundi mana nibibi bishobora kubavira mu byiza. The spiritual father say all things include evil things. Ibintu byose ndetse harimo nibibi biba byiza. Everything that happens. Ibintu byose bibaho. We have an example in the book of Genesis. Dufite urugero mu gitabo cy'intangiriro for this word of God. Kuri iryo jambo ry'Imana. This is book of Genesis chapter 50 verse 20. Izamo ry'Imana mu ntangiriro 35. Joseph the patriarch is saying you have intended to do evil in my life but my God intended it for my good. Yosefu abwira bene nyina ati mwagerageje kungirira nabi ariko iyo nabi yavuye mineza. Asubiramo. Inabi mwari mwangiriye. Inabi mwari mwangiriye. Imana yayihinduye mibyiza. Imana yayihinduye mibyiza. Kugira ngo imbaga nyamwinshi rokoke. Kugira ngo imbaga nyamwinshi rokoke. Nkuko mu biruzi none. Nkuko mu biruzi none. Look at the Look at the life of Joseph. Murebe ubuzima bwa Joseph. He suffered evil. Ya yarababaye cyane. He was put into the pit. Bari bamunaze mu mwobo. He was sold as a slave. Bamuvaye bamurugize nk'umugaragaho bamuvaye. He was imprisoned for 12 years. Bamufunze imyaka 12. His own brothers betrayed him. Abavandimwe be baramuye mu kiye. But his God brought good in his life. Ariko muri byo byose Imana yabihinduye byiza. That is why what we need to do. Praise the Lord in all your sufferings. Even when you lose job. Even when you fall sick. Even when you meet with accident. The first word that should come out of your mouth is thank you Jesus, praise you Jesus. Ah. Praise you Jesus, praise you Jesus. It should naturally come from our heart. Jagomjere rokuza tu tingi nze mumuti mawacho urakose yezo singi zwa yezo. Because he said, those who love me, I will bring good to them. Koko imani tu sezera nyako awayikunda ni vivi visa babiza. Even if you lose a job, na hawa ba ba vye kukaz. To those who thank God. He will provide better job. Everything is in the control of God. Everything is in the control of God. You have to believe it. And give thanks to God. I met a priest some time back. I met him in Kenya. He's a missionary priest. He was very prayerful. One day I heard robbers attacked him. It was on a Sunday. After the Sunday mass in the night, the robbers knew there may be offer tree collection. They came to steal it. So they came, they took this priest and threw him from the first floor. He fell down, broke his two legs and one hand. He was in the hospital. The news was spread. There were so many questions. So very good priest. Very holy priest. Why robbers found him, attacked him and broke his legs? Because we know him personally. We, we, we went to visit him in the hospital. So while we started to, while we were reluctant to meet him, because we don't know how to console him. But when I met him, he had a very good smile on his face. And a rosary in his hand. He's smiling and praying. We went to console him. 
but he's already been consoled. So I asked him, Father, do, do you have no pain? His both legs are in plasters and his one hand is also in plaster. It's only one hand that works. Then he told me, Father, I'm very happy. God heard my prayer. Father, I am in a church. There are 36 outstations. I have no time to pray. I'm just running up and down. I told the bishop to give me some time to pray personally. The priest said he's waiting for a substitute. I asked several times. No answer. I pray to the Lord. Lord, give me minimum six months break. Otherwise, I may break down. And this priest said, God sent robbers. They threw me down. And my two legs are broken. The first thing the doctor said, six months bed rest. And I thank God. That's why I'm smiling. There is little pain in the legs. But there is joy in my heart. This priest taught me that day. We humans are short-sighted. When we find somebody having a trouble, we immediately think some punishment has happened. Because we are ignorant. These days when somebody says, tells me, he or she met with an accident. Immediately I say, praise the Lord. Because God has put an eye on him. Because God loves him. Hebrews chapter 12 verses from 5 to 7 we read, God disciplines those whom he loves. God loves those who, those who whom he loves. God disciplines those whom he loves. So just because there is an accident, there is a calamity, there is a sickness, that does not mean God has abandoned us. He loves us. Praise the Lord. We are a retreat in our prayer house in Nairobi. Our retreats are for five days. After every preaching, when I go out, one gentleman will come after me. He will tell me, Father, pray for me to get a job. I said, I will do that. Second day, Father, no job. Please pray for me. Third day, Father, no job. Did you pray for me? I said, we are praying. Fifth day, again, Father, no job. Are you praying seriously? Then I asked him, how long now you have no job? He told me six years. Father, I have no value before my wife. I have no value before my children. Father, you know, if you have no money, no job, you have no value. Father, I came specifically to get a job. And I hear people saying, if you attend a retreat, you get a job. And some of my friends got a job. That's why I came, but five days passed. So I asked him, how long you made your last confession? Then he scratched his head. He said, Father, maybe six years. I told him, you are not getting a job because you have never confessed. You have no job so that you may come and attend a retreat. Then he told me, Father, you say if I confess, I will get a job? I told him, your problem is job. 
but god's problem is your soul ariko kumana ikibazo ni roho yawe your soul is more precious than your job roho yawe ifite agaciro kurusha kazi as long as you have a job igihe cyose uzagira kazi you will never tend to god ntabwo uzahindukirira imana why did you come for this retreat kuba uza muri uyu mwiherero because you have no job nuko nta kazi ufite but once you rectify your soul ariko numara guhindura roho yawe job is a small problem for god akazi nakano gato cyane ku mana god invited you here imana yagutumiye hano to see we read seek the kingdom of the lord and his welfare and everything else will be added unto you dusoma muri matayo gatandatu umurongo wa 33 when you look after god when you confess your sins when you return back your life to god everything else ibindi job akazi finances eh marriage children abana blessings will come to us imigesha yose izaza baruch chapter 428 and 29 we read baruko mutwa kane umurongo wa 334 come back to the lord as you have gone astray from the lord come back to the lord with the tenfold seal the one who brought these calamities upon you will bring back everlasting joy with your salvation garukirimana wowe watakaye hanyuma ibindi byose bizakugarukira baruki chapter 4 16 uh, 28 and 29 baruk baruko mutwe wa kane umurongo wa 28 1506 that comes after the book of jeremiah lamentations then baruk chapter 4 28 and 29 subira ama musenge chane nkoko kera mutashidikanyije kwitarura imana nkoko kera mutashidikanyije kwitarura imana ubu ni mube ariko muharanira kuyigarukira ubu ni mube ariko muharanira kuyigarukira ndetse mu bikorana umwete ndetse mu bikorana umwete urusi nshuro 10 ubute bwanyu bwa mbere urusi nshuro 10 ubuto bwanyu bwa mbere koko rero koko rero wabateje ibi byago wabateje ibi byago ni na uzabakiza ni na uzabakiza anabazanire ibyishimo bizahoraho anabazanire ibyishimo bizahoraho so when you have a calamity iyo rero ufite ingorane is an invitation to come to god ni ni buryo bwo gutumirwa ngo wegere imana that is why when you have a problem iyo ufite ibibazo rero you have to praise your god ugomba gushima imana when you are jobless ni budafita kazi you have to praise god ugomba gusinga so this joblessness is a means god is going to come inside you murugo bushomere bwa muri byabazo byawe no kuva ko nuyisingiza imana izinjira mu bazo byawe in psalm 119 verse 71 we read lord it was good that i have suffered i was humbled therefore i learned your statutes niyo mpamvu dusoma mu gitabo cyazaburi 119 murongo wa 17 i thank god because i was humbled ndashima ubuntu bw'imana so that i learned your statutes kugira ngo mbashe kubaho umurongo wa 21 numwe byanguye neza byanguye neza kuba naracishijwe bugufi kuba naracishijwe bugufi kugira ngo nitoze ugushaka kwawe kugira ngo nitoze ugushaka kwawe byanguye neza byanguye neza kuba naracishijwe bugufi kuba naracishijwe bugufi kugira ngo nitoze ugushaka kwawe kugira ngo nitoze ugushaka kwawe so when the sufferings are means God is going to communicating with us. Iyo rero ibibazo byabaye byinshi imana iziruhande rwawe. I know a particular lady. Yahuye no mubyeyi umwe. She came to me with a lot of pain. Yaje kumureba afite agahinda kenshi. She told me like this. Yabwira padiri ati, Father, I collected some word of God from you. Na naje gusabisengesha wanyu murarimo. For me, my husband and my children. Ndisabira umugabo wanje nanje ubwanje nabana bacu. When I started reading this word of God I came to know my husband is cheating on me. Naje kumenya ko umugabo wanje ncinyuma. Father I loved him so much. Padi ndabakunda cyane. Now I'm so broken. None ndababaye pe. But when I started to read the word. Batangiye gusoma ijambo ry'Imana. Now I am so sad. Narishuko kubabara cyane. I told her. Yaramubwiye ati. Now you have to be so happy. 
Because the truth is revealed. Because you can now love your Jesus with all your heart. Until now you are loving your husband and wasting your precious time. This revelation, this tragedy will bring you more and more close to your God. So praise the Lord for the truth is being revealed. Praise the Lord so that you know you have to pray for your husband. Because God can bring good out of evil. God is a God who reveals secrets. So that we may pray for deliverance. Before God. Everything is possible. My dear sisters and brothers, when I came to Rwanda, I have noticed one thing. I have not seen this in India or Kenya or America or Europe. In Rwanda, when we lift the body of Jesus, people clap the hearts. But in most places, that is the time of extreme silence. Because that symbolizes the death of Jesus. So when somebody is dead, we become silent. But when Jesus is dead, we clap. For me now, it's something important to clap the hands. Why? The greatest tragedy became a blessing. Death is a blessing. Jesus died and defeated death. So what does Rwandi say when they clap the hands? No more we fear death. Because we have our master who defeated death. The greatest tragedy ever happened in this world that an innocent person was brutally crucified became a sign of salvation. That means we need to praise God even the tragedies that strike us. Because we have a God who, who turned evil for good. That's what we read in the book of Habakkuk. This is chapter 2 verses from 17 to 19. This is Habakkuk. Though the fig tree does not blossom and no fruit is on the vines, though the produce of the olive fails and the fields yield no food, Though the flock is cut off from the fold, and there is no herd in the stars, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will exult in God of my salvation. Habakuki, Mutwa Kabiri, Murong, Watchum Nakarin, we know Watchum Numanani. No Kurikoko Urugomo, Wajiri Yeribani, Ruzaku Garuka Urugomo, Wajiri Yeribani, Ruzaku Garuka. No kuwara rimbu ye inyamas kwa zayo. No kuwara rimbu ye inyamas kwa zayo. Uzavi rjozwe. Uzavi rjozwe. Vitewe nuko wa menye amaraso ya banu. Vitewe nuko wa menye amaraso ya banu. Uga hunga wanyiji hugu. Uga hunga wanyiji hugu. Umurugwa. Umurugwa. Naba utu yebose. Naba utu yebose. When tragedies happen. When our crops fail, when our crops fail, the harvest fails. When our cattle die, when our sheep die, when we meet with accident or sickness, we need to still thank God. Because he can change and turn everything for our benefit. When David lost his son, 
he started praising God. Then when he lost his son, this is in the book of 2 Samuel from in the chapter 16. David lost his son. A son whom he got from the wife of Uriah. A child that was born out of adultery. He lost this son. Then he repented. And he started to praise God. When a tragedy came upon David, he, he repented of the sin he committed and he praised and worshipped God. Then a miracle happened. Do you know that miracle? Ah, tell me. Ah, tell me. Tell me. Ah, tell me. Ah, tell me. Ah, tell me. Ah, tell me. I did not hear. No, he said something. I want to hear that. Ah. The, the was both pregnant again ah. and ah. gave birth to Solomon. That is the answer. Give mighty clap. <laughs> Excellent. I am proud of you. Solomon. A man filled with wisdom. Most of these books, Wisdom of Solomon, Proverbs, these are Sirach, these are all in a way the inspiration of Solomon. A son was born to a man who praised God in tragedy. When you praise God in your tragedy, you are shame the devil and you bring down God's glory. God does not stop giving us children. Believe me, God does not stop blessing you with more children. If you lose one child, he will give you more children. Look at, uh, look at these people, especially the, the mother of uh, uh, Samuel. Joachim and Hannah. When she surrendered Samuel to Jesus, to God, she got three more kids. She was childless. But she gave her son given by God back to God. Maybe you have a miscarriage. Not once but twice. Not, not twice but five times. But when you worship God, you will get more than seven children. God is a God. His name is El Shaddai. That means one who is more than enough. For him, everything is possible. So when you learn to thank God, I know we all have suffered a lot. Are we here to complain? Are we here to weep all our life? Are we here to withdraw from anything, everything? Or are we here to praise God? We, none of us are suffering like a job. He lost his children. He lost his wife. He lost his property. He became sick. He lost his friends. He became a laughing stock. He became poor. But what made Job so different? What is the speciality of Job? My dear sisters and brothers. What makes you and me different from Job? Job 1.22 Job 1.22 Chapter 1 verse 22 In all his sufferings, he never accused God. In all his sufferings, he worshipped his God. He never uttered a word against God. This is the greatness of Job. 
Let us read. This is Job chapter. There's an important thing that Job says. This is book of Job chapter 23. Job chapter 23. Job chapter 23. Let us repeat this uh, this chapter. This is a very important chapter where he tells about all his sufferings. But at the end of the day, he finds consolation with his God. Yo. Job chapter 23. They can all repeat. Subiramo musenge chane. Yobu afatisha mbajirati. Yobu afatisha mbajirati. Nanone amaganya ya anjara komeye. Nanone amaganya ya anjara komeye. Ukoko kwa njiru uvasha kuranganda miza. Ukoko kwa njiru uvasha kuranganda miza. Mwaboroga. Mwaboroga. Ninduza mwenyeleka. Ninduza njine. Akanjeza hatuye. Akanjeza hatuye. Na vujira kawa waroka njimbereye. Hamugiri njingo shingi yewo Hamugiri njingo shingi yewo Bircho nga menya magambo ya nsuviza Humbanezi chamgi ye Humbanezi chamgi ye Ese harichamu funa mukuja imakanda nje Oya ya fakune gamatu kigusa Oya ya fakune gamatu kigusa Akumbukunu uo vavurana afugukuri Mazuru banza rwange ngarutsindira Burundi Mazuru banza rwange ngarutsindira Burundi Ariko Ariko iyo mushakiye iburasira zuba simubona iyo mushakiye iburasira zuba simubona mu burengera bwaryo naho simpa musange iburengera bwaryo naho simpa musange nashakishiza mu majyaru guru simu cyirgera nashakishiriza mu majyaru guru simu cyirgera naga nepfo naho simpa mubone Nyamarawe azuko merewe Nyamarawe azuko merewe Ashate ya nyuza mngitanura Ashate ya nyuza mngitanura Na vamosa na zahawi yunguruye Na vamosa na zahawi yunguruye Na shinze ibirenge bjanje muna amgeze Na shinze ibirenge bjanje muna amgeze Mbone zinziraye na kuyoba Mbone zinziraye na kuyoba Sinige zenanga mateje kwa yamaye Sinige zenanga Kandi nzirika na mumutima amagambo ya mgiye. Verse 14. 14. Ariko niwe utejeka. Ariko niwe utejeka. Kandi nawe umufuguruza. Kandi nawe umufuguruza. Ike iye mesharajikora. Ike iye mesharajikora. Nanja za njenzeleza uko ya vigenye. Nanja kanje nzereza kuya mjini Nindi migambi yose yifitemo Nindi migambi yose yifitemo Verse 10 Nyamarawe azuko merewe Nyamarawe azuko merewe Ashate ya nyuza mngitanura Ashate ya nyuza mngitanura Na vamosa na zahavu iyunguruye Na vamosa na zahavu iyunguruye Job is telling about all his sufferings. His pain and his sorrow. All the rejections that he is facing. And what does he say? This is what we read in verse 10 and verse 14. But though my friends do not understand me. Though when I turn left, I don't find anyone. I turn right, I don't find anyone. I look behind, I, there is no one to help me. I look forward, people have abandoned me. But I know one thing. That... The way that I take, he knows the way that I take. When he has tested me, I shall come out like gold. Nigero to soma mumurongo watumi no watumi nakane nyama na we azuko mere we asha te anyo zamu itanura hava mosa na zahavi yunguruye nanga zanje nzere zuko ya vigenye chime nindi migambi yose yifitemo. This is what made job different. This is what made him a blessed man. You turn left. Your husband abandoned you for another woman. You turn right. Your in-laws are accusing you, saying you are the reason your husband abandoned you. You look, you look backward. Your parents are accusing you that you are always a curse. You look forward, your own children are telling you are always a burden. Then when you look at God, He will say, 
I love you. Ningewe the way you are. I'm not tired of you. I will never give up on you. I have made a purpose, a plan for your life. I will establish it. My dear sisters and brothers, the life of Job would have been scattered if he did not look at his God and praised him. Because he himself said, 1 Corinthians 10.13, the Lord will not give you a test which is beyond your power. He will give you the strength to overcome the test. Hallelujah. Somebody having pain on the right hand, God is healing you. And you will never have this pain again. Who had this pain? God is healing you. Somebody also having chest pain, God is healing you. And you will never get this pain again. And somebody having severe stomach related issues, God is healing you. And somebody having uh, Somebody having a strange type of headache is a piercing pain God is healing you. God is also revealing a name Boniface and God is blessing him. Let us feel the presence of God. The Lord is teaching us today. Praise him. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 to 18 Give thanks to him in all circumstances Even when you are sick That is the time you say My God is able Jesus was brought before a dead body what did Jesus do? John chapter 11 from 39 we read. Jesus gave thanks to God before a dead body. Before the body of Lazarus. He is giving thanks to his father. Sisters and brothers, miracle happened. Jesus brought him back to life. Because he praised and thanked the Father. All those who are troubled in any way. All those who are troubled in your heart. Maybe troubled about your children, about your job, about finances, about bank loan about family, about anything. Lift your hands, those who have any kind of trouble. Don't worry. Even Jesus said, John chapter 12 from 28, I am deeply troubled. Jesus said, I am deeply troubled. What do I say? Father, let your name be glorified. I am deeply troubled. That is why I give glory to my Father in heaven. Maybe you are going through difficulties. You are going through suffering. You are deeply disturbed. You are deeply troubled. You have been going through persecution. Give glory to God. Because devil is a deceiver. He wanted to steal your joy. He wanted to steal your soul. He wanted to disturb you. One day one lady told me. She's a very prayerful woman. And she told me. The Lord revealed to her. The meaning, the meaning of a word of God. She is a, a married woman. Husband and two children. 
One day she was reading the word. Dimma soma Bibliya. God gave her Psalm chapter 4 verse 4. Ima na yo moha izambo muniza buli ya kane murongo wa kane. When you are disturbed, do not sin. Ponder it on your birds and be silent. Um muri bila yacu no murongo wa gatanu. Ni muhinde umushitsi mureke gucumura. Aho muryamye ni mwibaze maze mutecheke. When you are disturbed, do not sin. No no buzwa mahoro uteteke. Ponder it on your beds. Uryame mu buriri bwawe. And be silent. Hanya muteteke. When you are disturbed. Niba rero buza mahoro. When you are troubled. Niba ufite ibibazo. You are going to suffer. Ukaba ubabaye. That is the time you can commit many sins. Ni cyo gihe ushobora gukora ibyaha byinshi. This woman told me. Uwo mugiye arambiye ati. You know, me, being a wife. Kuba umugore. When I am disturbed with my husband. Iyo ufite ikibazo n'umugabo. I don't cooperate him cooperate with him in the bed. Nabwo mbandi kumwe nawe mu mujinya. It causes him to commit adultery. Byatuma ari ubusambanyi. It causes me to make even other people to commit sin. Bishwanetse gutuma nabandi bagwa mu cyaha. So it is when I am disturbed Ije rero nabajishwa amahoro I have to give all my life to God giving him glory. Nibwo mpa imana ubuzima bwanje nkayihikuzo. They will say deceiver. There is a sin called not praying when tempted. Hari eh ijambo rivuga ngo kudasenga not praying when tempted. Kudasenga igi uri mu bishuko. When you are troubled. Iyo uri mu bishuko. And you go to sleep with that trouble. Uka guma muri byo bishuko. You have all you are sleeping with Satan. Uburyamanye na shitani. This is what Ephesians chapter 5 from 28 we read. Nibyo dusoma mu banyefezi umutwe Don't get angry. We rakara. Surrender your anger before you sleep. Umushinya wawe ujyegura mbere yuko sinzira. Otherwise you will be sleeping with the demon of anger in the night. Kugira ngo utaryamana na shitani yuburakari mu buriri. It devil is a deceiver. Eh shitani rero no muhenda. That's why we have been taught praise God in all circumstances. Niyo mpamvu tubona ijambo ry'Imana yivuga ngo shime Imana mu bihe byose. In your sufferings. Mu babare bwawe. In your pain. Mu gahinda ufite. In your sorrow. Igihe ufite gahinda. Even when you fail the exam. Nawo abatsi mu kizami. One day one lady came and she told me. Ndimo mubye yagiye kuri padre aramubwira ati For that my husband is a heavy drunkard. Umugabo wanje no musinzi ukabije. I am tired of living with him. Ndananiwe kubana nawe. I am tired of praying for him. Ndananiwe kumusengera. The more I pray. Igihe cyose nsenga, the more he drinks. Uko nkundo sho gusenga rasho gusinda. The more I pray. Uko ndo sho gusenga, the more he abuses me. Arushaho kumbuza mahoro. So I think I have to get divorced. Ndakeka yuko nkuye gutandukana nawe. She told me. Yaramubwiye ati, Father don't tell me to pray. Nanje ngusengere. I prayed. Narasins. I prayed like no one else. Narasinze kurusha abandi. No change. Ha cha hindutse. So now I was just a new priest then. Icyo gye padi yarakimushya ho han. When somebody says I have prayed enough and more and there is no breakthrough, then how do I say pray more? Iyi yuma nasha mubwira ati narasinze bihagije. We yahera ya. Telling me that I prayed so much. Yaramubwira ati narasinze cyane. Then I started to pray. Hanyuma padi yatangira gusenga. The Lord gave this word of God from Psalm chapter 50 verse 23. Imuha ijambo muri zaburi 15 verse 23. Umurongo wa 23. Those who bring thanksgiving as a sacrifice honor me. Abazana ishimwe w'ituro ryabo baba muhaye kuzo. Let's repeat this word of God. Saburi chapter 50 verse 23. Zaburi 15 umurongo wa 23. Subira mu musenge cyane. Zaburi 15 umurongo wa 23 turagira uti onura ibisingizo ho igitambo. Niwe umikuzo. Niwe umikuzo. Once again that one. Onura ibisingizo ho igitambo. Onura ibisingizo ho igitambo. Niwe umikuzo. Niwe umikuzo. My dear sisters and brothers There are many types of sacrifices. Hari ibi amaturo atandukanye. Holy mass is the greatest sacrifice. Eh igitambo cy'ukaristiya ni igitambo kirutibindi. Offering some fruits, vegetables, some kinds of material things is a sacrifice. Gutura ibintu bifatika imboga, imbuto n'ibitabo. In the Old Testament there were burnt offerings, fruits offering, animal offering, different types of sacrifices. Mu kiragano cyakera hari amaturo atandukanye ibitambo bitwika bitwikwa imbuto nibindi byinshi. But this scripture is talking about offering thanksgiving. Ariko irishambo ry'Imana riratubwira gutura ibisingizo. 
how it becomes an offering when thanksgiving itself becomes a sacrifice for example you don't find anything to thank you are sick your mother is sick your father is irresponsible your relatives never look after you you have no money for treatment you don't find any help from anyone you have nothing to thank still you say thank you lord those people bring honor to god this is what the scripture teaches we told this lady you find your husband drinks a lot he never looks after you and your children the more you pray the more he drinks stop praying start praising God start thanking your God then she asked thanking for whom thanking for what for drinking alcohol for beating me for not looking after children we told her for all this when you give thanks to God when you give thanks to God when you give praise to God you are telling your God Lord you are able you have the power over my husband you are in charge of my husband do something I give my husband to you and I give you glory for the life of my husband she started to praise God. He told her, just do it 10 days. After 10 days, this man got completely converted. He got changed. When you say thank you to God, even when there is nothing to thank humanly, you will see the glory of God. If you notice, our ministry, Divine Retreat Center, one of the most important part of our ministry is praise and worship. Sometimes we don't understand. Sometimes even the language we use, we don't understand. Sometimes some songs we sing, it is, we don't understand. Still we are praising and worshipping. Sometimes we don't feel like smiling. We force you to smile. Sometimes you don't like clapping hands. We force you to clap your hands. One lady told me, Father, don't tell Rwandis to smile so much. I told maybe God brought me here to make you smile. It's important. Because most of the miracles take place when you praise God. When you praise God, the devil is defeated. God comes down. Psalm 22, 3 we read. Our God is enthroned in the throne of praises. When you praise God, it's equal to preparing a, a, a big chair for our God. When you praise God, what you say? Come, Lord Jesus. Be seated in our midst and start working in our life. So, when you praise God, it's simply welcome, Jesus. Welcome, come, come. Welcome. There is no greater prayer than that. If he comes down, because he lives in the throne of praises, sorrow will be removed. Fear will be removed. Anxiety will be removed. Because he comes inside you, inside the person who worships him. Psalm 8110 we read. 8110. Open your mouth wide and you shall be fed, and you shall be fed. When you praise God, 
His power comes inside you. His healing comes inside you. His deliverance comes inside you. See, Paul and Silas were in the prison. What did they do? Praised God. They did not do anything. The chains were broken. The prison doors were opened. There was an earthquake. Remember your praise can create an earthquake in Rwanda. Your praise can perform miracles in Rwanda. The whole atmosphere will be changed. Muhaguruke. Muhaguruke. Let us worship God, giving all thanks and praise to God. Clap your hands, let's sing together.